Solon's done for if I've got the address wrong. I hope it's not too late. Sean! Where's Sean? The poison's gonna kill me in a few minutes. I I've gotta find Sean fast! Sean! Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then... I remember. Saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trial. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grave. Gotta open this goddamn grate. Gotta find something fast. I'll get you out of there, Sean. Sniper's in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. what is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. 
Now get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. I thought you were gone. Oh, oh. Dad, I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. Oh. Oh. Sean, listen. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I... I'm not dead. I took poison an hour ago, and... and I'm not dead. Ash, get her out of my face. Mars didn't do it, for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. Save me. 
general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the Origami Killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Is this where we're going to live now? Only if you really, really want to. Or we can keep on looking until we find something you like. It doesn't matter where we live, as long as we're together. I will never let anyone or anything separate us again. We're stuck with each other, kiddo. Like glue. Can I choose what my room is? Sure thing, champ. All right, then I think we can stay here. about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious, two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? For John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. Today's World Magazine this week, and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer, and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Good evening.
You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? You don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt.